Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome back to another episode of Seek and Destroy. And today we're gonna to take a quick look at something that I came across while I went to Megacon just a week and a half ago. And this is MetaZoo, MetaZoo Gaming and their new line of you know, card games that they're doing, which is called Cryptid Nation. And this is just really neat. When I went to their booth, my actually my little brother was like, hey, can you go by there? It's like a new card game. My, you know, my brother is big on collecting cards and stuff. And he was like, hey, can you go by and check it out and, you know, get some information for me? And I was like, sure, no problem. So I went by, checked these guys out. They were really awesome. So I got some footage there you guys can see of the booth. And then I also got to talk to one of the guys. So I'll let him speak in a minute and kind of get uh, his like spiel that he gave at the table to kind of let you know a little bit about what this is. And then afterwards, I'll go Go ahead and em embellish it a little bit more and read some stuff off the website for you guys. So without further ado, let's let our friend take it away. Hey, Wade here with MetaZoo. Uh, if you haven't heard of it, it's a game about cryptids, things like Bigfoot, Chupacabra, uh, where you play affects how you play. In the rain, water is stronger. At night, dark is better. Uh, we had first edition release on July 30th. We have a second print coming soon and more sets after that. And I do want to say a big shout out to everyone who worked at the MetaZoo booth because I had a great time talking to you gentlemen. You guys were all awesome, everyone who I talked to over there. And uh, and the game itself sounds so cool. So I'm going to tell you guys a little bit more about it. Well, I have some more footage up there of, you know, different things that I got at the, you know, got to see at the booth and stuff and different footage of the cards. Um, but this is uh, basically saying that magic at one point a thousand years ago was put behind a great veil. Something uh, held magic in place, which is why it disappeared from our folklore and from our, our stories and all that stuff and why now we just live in reality without a lot of magic around us um, or you know or or something bigger than a small miracle and so that's kind of what it is everything's been locked away and now through even more mysterious circumstances everything has been busted out again so now magic and creatures and everything are roaming across and spreading across the world and now it's up to you to team up with Bigfoot and the Mothman as you go across Route 66 in America you know uh, finding other monsters and other folklore and stuff. So depending on where you are in the United States, chances are your town or your state has some kind of cool lore, you know, something like a Bigfoot or a Mothman or something like that, or like the Wendigo or something like there's lore built into every place in America and that's what this card game is based on. MetaZoo is a collectible card game with groundbreaking mechanics that break the fourth wall. Choose where you play wisely because your surroundings dictate how powerful your cards are. Cast water spells when it's raining, like our friend said earlier, um, and that increases their effectiveness, as well as partnering with dark beasties during the nighttime to augment their powers as well. Deck is only as powerful as its arena, so that's pretty neat. So wherever you're playing at in the game, like whatever you choose to be your setting, or wherever you end up as you're trekking across the United States, uh, that's it's going to determine what characters you should use. So there's some strategy built into this too that could give you the upper hand on your opponent. So this is just really cool. I just thought all this was neat and the guys like I said at the booth were awesome. The artists that I met there who signed cards and were doing all this great promotional stuff. Love them. They're so awesome. Sadly I was unable to buy any of this because when I went to their website it looks like a lot of their stuff was sold out already. So it looks like it's going to be kind of hard to get some of this stuff. But if I ever do get my hands on it, I'll for sure try to do like a, a game or something and record it and share it with you guys. But if you're out there and you're a fan of MetaZoo, let me know what are some of your favorite cards? What's your favorite thing about it? For me, it's the folklore stuff. It's the stuff that they're building off of. Like I'm from West Virginia, so we have a lot of like strange stories up in that area. And so I'm very excited to kind of see what they bring to the table with this game, um, you know, that reflects you know our our country in a way you know for those of us in the u.s and hopefully i can't wait to see them go to other countries and other parts of the world and deal with some of their folklore and mysteries and, and and stuff like that in their myths so i'm i'm pumped i mean this seems neat it seems like a really cool idea for a card game and like i said if i can ever get my hands on some other than the the cool free packets they gave me at the booth um you know i'll definitely try to share some information with you guys or play a game or something for you guys if i can so uh yeah let me know your thoughts of this down below and again everyone over at metazoo thank you so much i love your stuff and I appreciate you taking time out of your you know, con experience uh, to tell me all about it and let me film some stuff there. It was very nice of you and I appreciate it. Thank you so much. See you all.